Okay, 2.2 Ecotech. Um, it's on an 06 Chevy HHR. Uh, pretty well the same as any non variable valve timing. 2.2 or 2.4. Um, there's a lot of really good videos out there right now about how to replace a timing chain on one of these engines. Um, I'll put a link below. You guys can go have a look at some of that stuff. But just a couple of tips I wanted to throw out there for anybody that's unsure of a couple things and I can't seem to find a video that talks about it. So. Um, I've got my chain in and everything. Um, small note here, talking about uh, TDC or top dead center here. So I got my screwdriver and I just I have all the spark plugs out and you can see that this one goes in there. Handle still hangs out and this one if I dropped it in this one and the center two pistons that drop right down. So just remember that when you're looking at it. Um, Check for top dead center. The other thing that nobody notes is um, you can see on the front here. I'll try and get a view. You can see I got my uh, uniquely colored link, the intake note, and then the uh, similarly colored link on the exhaust note side here. Um, but what people don't really talk about is is where are the camshaft lobes supposed to lay. And uh, if you look at the instructional. Um, Opel video for the Germans. I think they did a good job, but I can't speak German, so it didn't make sense to me. But uh, I noticed that um, in the intake stroke, you'll see that, I think it's the intake stroke, somebody will correct me probably if I'm not, but uh, you'll see that these cam lobes are up. Um, and then they actually rotate the engine in that video. I'll put a link to the video, and they rotate the engine in that video um, to the point where these front cam lobes are down and uh and the back ones come up so you end up with the opposite uh stroke of the intake to versus uh exhaust so and you need these back intake lobes up for your i guess i'm fairly confident it's the exhaust stroke but that's where you'll need to line up your front uh, sprockets um if you don't do that you'll have everything timed upside down and that's uh kind of an issue that you could have uh Going forward, it'll create catastrophic mess. So, anyway, that's that. I wanted to show you guys what these intake sprockets look, look like. Um, this is a second set that I actually have for this engine. Um, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see real good in this video, but uh, on the edge of these. <sighs> whatever you want to call them, uh, sit in the grooves on the camshaft and uh, they lock in so it doesn't spin on the camshaft, which kind of makes sort of sense, right? And if you take it apart, you'll know what I mean. Um, but one thing you should note, these only go on one way and uh, these lobes are actually uh, sized a little differently and or they got kind of a different angle to them or it's kind of off-centered if you can see that in the video, just the way they placed in there. And so they actually only fit on the camshaft the one way. Make sure you put those on right. This set I actually screwed up and uh, put on there upside down and realized I had a problem somewhere afterwards, but it actually wrecked the side of these lobes here because I, I had uh, torqued them down. So make sure that you're watching that when you're putting them on. If they don't fit or they don't line up, it's even good to practice a couple times just on the camshaft beforehand, get them lined up on there. Um, and just, just so you know how they fit. So when you actually have the chain on there, you can go back and stick it on there properly. And the only other thing is down here, uh, when you're putting it all back together, you got your two chain guides, you got your one on this side right there, and then you got your, your tensioner guide on this side. Make sure you put this one in first before you do the upper exhaust uh, side sprocket. That'll save you a couple of minutes of fitting them, taking it back apart again. Um, make sure your pins here. Again, this is kind of where I was talking before with the top dead center thing. If you've got your keyway, you can see it's up straight up and down on top here um, and you've got that screwdriver in there all the way up then you know your TDC right so and then watch those cam loops and should be good so hope that helps